very strong and very clear. For the interest, uh, keeping the interest of the nation and to have a very stable, strong government and a strong leader, that is Narendra Modi ji. For the third successive tenure, he should be elected as the Prime Minister. For that to happen, we need to work unitedly in the state of Karnataka, forgetting about the past. We need to forget the past. In the present, we need to work with all sincerity and dedication. So the message is, forget about the past. And for a right reason, for a good reason, we need to come together with all the sincerity, dedication, keeping the interest of the nation as at all. And the Congress should be our main, main and very clear target. For that to happen, we need to work with it. So the message was very strong and clear, very well accepted. Honorable uh, former Prime Minister, Sri Devi Godaji, the message was very strong, precise, and it has sent a very strong message, and all our former Chief Minister, Edurapalji, Kumar Samiji, and Vijayendra Ji, all of them have given a perfect message, and it has been well received. Probably this will give a very strong message to each, one, each and every party worker, former minister, former MLA, and present MLA. HD Devi Gaudachi was speaking, stated that we are very confident of winning uh, 28 seats as well. And it will be a case of for us if the BJP and the JDS at the grassroots level come together. Yeah, definitely. That's what, how the uh, money power, the muzzle power, the abuse of power, how the official machinery, how the Congress has been taking advantage, how they have been looting over. So, in this backdrop, how we need to work together has been very clear. So, we are very confident that unity can change them. Unity is everything. So, we should also be aware of the opponent's strength. Keeping that in mind, how strongly we can come together, unity is everything. We are both going to work unitedly. And the message is very loud and clear. Whoever is going to work against this alliance, definitely they will not be speed. Okay. Lastly, Chief Minister's uh, son, Yatindra, has made a derogatory statement uh, against the Union Home Minister, Amit Shah. He's called him a goon, he's called him a rowdy as well. And he's again raked up uh, the Godra riots issue to in the Supreme Court. There was a clean shirt which was given to both the Prime Minister and the Union Home Minister in this regard. But they are using derogatory and unparliamentary language again and again against both the Prime Minister and the Union Home Minister. How is the BJP as a party seeing this and how will the state unit fight again? See, Dr. Etindra, former legislator, son of the present Chief Minister Sitra Mahi. His statement is completely immature, irresponsible and I think something wrong with it. I think immediately he should apologize for such a great visionary and a tall leader. A person like him with a good qualification, good background, why is he making this kind of irresponsible God only God? Why has he become so desperate? Hatredness. The contribution of Amit Shah Ji is immense for our country. Imagine, you know, abolishing 370, what was not done for many decades. That was the aspiration of each and every Indian for integrating the nation. Probably has lost his mind. Dr. Etindra, immediately you should apologize. Apologize and regret, withdraw the statement. It is not fair on your part to stoop to this level. It is a real insult to each and every Kanadiga. We feel let down. You being a Kanadiga, you might be a congressman. You might be in an opposition party. That doesn't mean we can make anything and everything. A statement against a tall leader. I condemn this entire statement immediately submit the unconditional apology. Thank you, sir.